Hello everyone, Hadika Regrets here again, and I was actually having a comedic relief earlier, so that's why you've seen my face smiling. So welcome back to my channel, and yeah, even though our plan is to get busy with um, payment gateway and all other things, um, there are still a couple of things we need to complete on the current benchmark. So technically, I'm reverting my last uh, statement on reaching the first benchmark, um, I think with nuts, okay? And that's where we're going to continue from. So in the last episode, we were able to complete the send money process, which is the internal money sending, which is the easiest part. However, before we proceed to the next thing, there are some cleanups we need to do. So again, I'll try to send money. This is the Fingrate account. Actually, I think we should have like a user avatar here where we can identify the logged in account. Or probably we can come back here, we get to see Adifem Great. So I'm logged in as Adifem Great here. So let me log it into the second account. So open the card tool. So here's the second account. So again, I'm going to try to initiate a transaction and I'll copy this account. Come back here, come back here, send money, do this. And enter the amount. So you know, like I said in the last episode, where we probably need to format the input here and that we couldn't really identify the kind of input we have here. So having that at the back of our mind, we should not be able to just send the money directly like this. And that's why you find out that there's always a confirmation page in any system that looks like this. So the same thing, where we click on send, or probably would have to change this to submit. So where we click on it, it should take us to a confirmation page where it shows us what we are trying to do. So it's going to tell you where you are sending your money from, which account you are sending to, the name of the account, and the amount you are trying to send in a formatted manner. Okay? I'll probably also show the currency you are using. So yeah, that's what we are going to be working on on today's episode. We are going to be creating the confirmation page. And that should not be very technical. However, for those of us who have been following through, you have your attention. So let's follow through and create this together. So with that said, let's get back into our code. Here. Yeah. So we have the you send money here and technically the confirmation page is just going to be part of this. And actually let me come back here. So what we are going to do is when we click on send, it takes us to the confirmation page, which is still on this model. The model does not close. However, we are going to have a back arrow here. So in case you see something you don't like, you should be able to navigate back to correct it. Okay, so that's what we are doing with. So back in our code, one thing you will notice about the code so far is the modularity of the code and the conciseness. And what I mean by that is we are trying our best not to write too many lines of code. So as a result of that, we're going to create a component to undo our confirmation page, then probably register a stage here to determine what is being shown. Okay. So I'll come back to the common. Yeah, maybe call what it should do. Then here I'm going to create a new file. So I called it send money confirmation and like we've said, it's going to take in the account we are trying to send money to. It's going to take in the account we are trying to send money from. And it's also going to have information about the amount we are trying to send. So RAFCE. So we do this. We don't need the React here. So we want to change this to capital letter. All right, cool. So let me define the props for this. So we have um, high props equals two so we have this to be two accounts and we can come back to our uh, you send money and verify what the two account information would look like and if we scroll up we would see the verified account type so that's what the two account would be so copy this then the from account and i think the from account is a bit different yep so that is just the account type Then the amount, which is going to be a string, and finally the uncompletes. All right, so these are the props we are going to be needing, and we can just pass them here. So we have props. And from here, we can get access to it. So to account, and from account, the amount, and uncompletes. So here we can have an add-in saying process summary or account summary or something like that. But maybe not. If we come back here, we would see that the 
model has information about its header. So here is the dialog title. We can control this based on the stage we are currently in. So all that the send monitor information should be doing is just rendering this information. And for that, we might most likely want to create another component to manage this. So we can either create it inside here or create it outside as well. But for now, I'll just create it here. It shouldn't be too much. So here I'm going to have const contest viewer. And this is going to take the title and the info. So we are going to have um, title, comma, info, like that. And we just want to return something like this. So title and info, and that's what we're going to be dealing with. So the first thing we want to do is where we are sending the money from. So we can have this as contest viewer from. So from account number, most likely not. Yeah, I think I'll use from account currency to recognize this because you can only have a unique account type. So as a result of that, it can either be an engine or a Naira, something like that. And probably also indicates your total amount or something like that, but there's no bother about that. So from, we use that. Then to, um, to account number. And this is going to be the to account dot account number. Then the next will be to account identifier. And here we can have the email address. The next we can have the to account currency. So this is me just being explicit. I don't think everybody is going to have all this information. So yeah, that's just it. Then finally, I want to specify the amount. And it, at this point, you want to work well with your format uh, flow. So let's do contest viewer, the amounts, and here we can do format currency. And we have the amount. Okay, cool. So now I'm coming back to the you send money. We can define the stage states. Cross stage, set stage, and we have send or confirm. So these are possible stuff, but I feel maybe a string is unnecessary in this case. So instead I'll just use a number. So by default, the stage is zero. Then if we are on the confirmation page, then the stage will be one. So yeah, that's about that. And now the form can be based on that. So this form submit would not be doing what we expected to do initially. So we're going to separate things. So we're going to have the under submit just like we did. However, we are going to have an incomplete process. So here I get to define costs. Profound payments. So this is going to be an async function. Okay. So I need to copy everything from here. So since we need the all complete here, and this is going to be initiated through the second stage, then we can most likely control that. So that means this takes in the all complete function and the submit function does not need to. So I'll copy this and paste here. And I'll remove the async from here. Remove the all complete from here. Format things. Okay, so this is looking more simpler and also, this would look more simpler. Okay, this is looking cool. So what this is going to do is, after preventing the default, is going to set stage to one, like that. And here we can remove the form. So we can have the stage. Stage is equivalent to zero. And, and the form, format this. So if stage is zero, then show the form. If stage is one, then we want to show the confirmation page. Stage is equivalent to one and and send money confirmation. So send money confirmation needs some information. So it needs the to account, the from account, and all those information. So to account equals to account. Yeah, we're going to have issue because account can be null. As you can see here, account can be null. However, we're only going to be able to access the send money confirmation page when account exists. So as a result of that, we can just say 
as account type and that should fix this if I'm right. Oh, okay. So this is not the info. This is the verified account and this will be verified account type. Yep. So now we can add the others from account is going to be accounts as account type. Then finally, the amount is going to be data dot amount. Yep. What else do we need? Yeah. On complete. So the uncomplete function will be handled here. So we are not expecting anything. And instead we are going to have the on or other confirm payments. Then we send in the uncomplete function from this. So uncomplete. So we format once again, and we are good to go. So we're almost there. I think that's the process we have to carry out. However, we might need to style this. So let's test it out to see what we need to style. So refresh. Send money, we need the account number. I believe I don't have it again. Let me get it. Copy. Come back here. So the amount 5,000 sent. And voila, we have this. So we can change this to confirmation, confirm payments, something like that. Then we format this. So let me quickly run through styling this out. And we have the button to actually complete the process. So coming back to my code. Coming back to send money confirmation. Here we're going to have a button. Yep, on click confirm. Okay. And here we can have style and Okay, I'm still trying to sort out the styling. Let's see how far we go with that. Okay, this is looking more nicer. And here we can add some space. And so space dash y dash five. Save this, check out again. Yep, that's not bad. But maybe five is too much. Let's try two. So let's make the button full. Yep, so we have the structure completed now. Now you can take a look at what you are trying to do. It makes more sense. And all we have to do now is change the title here and probably have a back button so that you can go back. So let's do that. So hint here, we can control what we show here. So control X. The stage is prevalent to zero. Then we have this like that. So we can format this. Another thing we want to do is to have the back arrow. I'm not sure if I have Lucid icon installed. Let me confirm. Yeah, Lucid React. So we have it. And based on that, we can have um, a button. So let's do this. Stage is equivalent to one and and. And have a button. Yeah, we have the back. So this is going to be the Chevron. Chevron left. Like that. So we can give it some spacing. And I think there are some variants for the button. So for this button, I'm going to use the ghost variant like that. And I'm going to give it a class name of uh, M right of theory. Then finally, I can give the title itself some class name. So it's going to be flex item center save. So let's take a look at this. Then looks just like there's an error. Okay. All right, let's copy our account number once again. Come down here, copy the account number. On back here, try to send money. Paste the account number, enter the amount, send. So we have confirmed payment and we can go back even though our button is kind of misbehaving. So let's expect to see what amount the button is taking. Yeah, you can see the button is taking a lot. So let's see if we can able control it more. I think we can make this icon or soon. Let's go to the button to verify some of the properties. Case size. So let's control the size. Icon. 
So let's see what it looks like now. Okay, we need to copy the account number again. But okay, we're, some, we're actually somewhere else. Refresh this. Yeah, but it cannot be part of button. Yeah, we can always fix that. Maybe we don't need to go through the old as well of this. Well, let's just have um, this as a div. Yeah, so that should work. Let's come back to copy our account. Copy. Come back here. Clean this out. Send money. Select account. All right, so this is better now. So we can click this to go back and we have to redo this. However, you see that there's still an issue there. Maybe this selection does not show automatically if there's an account. Let's confirm why that is happening. So you send money, we are back in here. So Libya Select does not have a value. So let's add that value. Format account currency. Yeah. So account dot currency, then the account balance. So this has to be a valid account. So we want to only do this if account exists. So we can say account and and do this. Or, or rather, let me do our empty strength. All right, so let's see if this works. So we come back to our browser, copy the account number, come down to the second one, close this. I'll close this out. Refresh, send money, select account, account number. Um, yeah, let's try 5,000. So we get to the confirm, it shows us all we have to do, where we are sending to, the identifier, the currency, the amount. And if we come back, we still have our money, which makes sense. So this is what we want, and everything is still working well. So now let's confirm again if this is working. Okay, there is an error. Not sure why that's happening. Okay, the money actually was sent. Not sure why, what happened. So I'll try again. And the account number, the amount 10,000. Okay. So we cannot read property type. Okay, so the assumption here is that when we try to close things up, we were still accessing here. So what we can do is come back here. And um, so on the complete process, so we can see we are doing incomplete before closing the model. So once the money was sent successfully, we're going to set the stage back to um, one, set stage back to zero, then uncomplete, then we can close the model. So let's see if that fixes it. So copy my account number, add that this, come back here. Okay, now I'm logged out. So I'll also clear this out, this, Send money, then amount, 10,000, send money, confirm. Yep, so this time around, everything was successful. So sometimes the code in the hierarchy matters a lot, the flow through which you confirm your process. But now we've seen that this is working, which means we've concluded the aim for this episode. So we're going to be rounding up here, and in the next episode, before we now move to the plan of payment gateway, what we have in our transaction so far are just dummies. And so far so good, we've been creating transactions, we've been sending money, receiving money, which means we now have transaction information. So in the next episode, we'll be visiting our transaction and making sure it's real content. So that'll be it for today's episode. Again, if you've not subscribed, it will be a better time to do so. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.